Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. If you're in the Midwest, um, I hope you're home safe and sound and warm because we are getting hammered with a huge storm all day long. We have been getting crazy wind and we got a ton of snow and rain and sleet yesterday. It's really icy and crummy. And um, there was a hundred car pileup on our interstate, not too, like within five miles of my house tonight or today, earlier today. Somebody died. It's been horrible, horrible um, weather. So I hope you're all home and safe and sound or in a warmer part of the country or world. <laughs> Hi, Marsha. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Luann. Welcome. I have some really great projects to share with you tonight. I'm excited because I'm using brand new, some brand new stamp sets for me. I've never um, played with the stamp sets that I was working with today to create some really fun, fun, cool cards. I'm gonna get myself set up here so I can see your comments coming in better. And I think I need to refresh my screen. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Cindy. Suzette. Suzette's down in Florida. I'll bet you it's not blowing 50 miles an hour there with gusting snow drifts. <laughs> Hi, Rose. <clears throat> How's everything looking out, out, out there by Kiel? I'll bet you it's pretty nasty in the wide open. Rose lives out in the country, and I know it always gets worse out there. Hi, Steve Atchison. Steve today made... Um, chicken that was um, dipped in ranch dressing and then um, is it called panko breadcrumbs and it was he baked it it was amazing I had that with a salad I'm not really supposed to have those breadcrumbs but I've been a good girl all week um, and then today he made barbecued ribs in the crock pot and they fall apart and they're so, the whole house smells so good and I'm not supposed to eat those either, but I did have one bite. So, <laughs> hi Jenna, hi Vicki, Nancy, welcome. I am much better than late night. Okay, I just got a message here from Sharon. I'm going to have to shut down so I can find my live and get those comments coming up on my screen a little bigger. So when we get started and I turn my phone around, I can see what you guys are saying to me. Hi, Claudia. Sandy. Sandy's watching from the Windy City. Well, guess what? It's a Windy City here, too. <laughs> Hi, D. Hi, Steve from the living room. Hi, Mary. Michelle. Michelle, I did a home party Saturday. And um, Michelle was there. And is Mary Olson on yet? She was there. We had a wonderful time. People braved the really crummy weather we had yesterday morning to come to the party. And by the time we left, the roads were all dry and fine. So that was really lucky. Um, and we had a really good time. Oh, and there's Cindy. She was at the party too. Hi, Joyce. Okay, I am going to... First of all, ask you to please share my video. Um, whether you're watching later on YouTube or later on Facebook after I am not live anymore, those shares really help me out. I appreciate that. And um, what do I have to share with you today? Besides the cards we're gonna make, I have some fabulous mail that's come in. I got a card from Donna Gowan from Michigan. Um, this came probably uh, last Saturday or Monday. Beautiful Valentine card using our Valentine framelits. Hi, Twyla. So super, super pretty. And she says, you inspire me to create. Thank you, Donna. That's what I'm hoping I do for all of you. Get you creating and using those stamping supplies that we have to have. Hi, Heather. Oh, and then Sharon says the clover's blooming and they're supposed to get more showers in the next few days. And um, Sharon is down in Louisiana, I believe. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Wendy Sue. Wendy, um, Wendy Sue is a flip-flop wearer, even in this kind of crazy weather, and I saw her flip-flops on her shoe dryer. 
You guys might not have those down in the south, but we have shoe dryers that are these poles that you put your boots on, boot dryers, and it blows air up into them to dry them after you've been outside and your feet get sweaty and the insides get wet. So Wendy Sue had her, um, her flip-flops on the boot dryer, which was pretty funny. She shared a picture on Facebook. Hi, Lisa. Paula, welcome. I got another card in the mail this week from Sarah New, and I'm pretty sure Sarah is on here watching because I think I just spoke to her a little bit. Um, look at how pretty this is. This uses that By the Bay stamp set. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. And um, Sarah was thanking me. She won a piercing mat from our team meeting. So she was one of the door prize winners at our last team meeting. So thank you, Sarah. Beautiful card. What? Oh, I'm like, what did I do with that other card? Then I got a really pretty card from Jackie Blursch. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. This uses the Butterfly Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. Hang on, you guys. I'm going to turn off the light on my screen so that these aren't so washed out. How's that look? Nope. There we go. Okay, get rid of that. Hi, Patty. Hi, Bernice. And then look at, at the inside. Whoops. Wow. Isn't that spectacular? Pretty cool. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. And um, Jackie put in a note thanking me for the embellishments she won from commenting on my Facebook Live last week. Hi, Judy. Hi, Debbie. So thank you very much for the beautiful card, Jackie. I absolutely love this. Um, we might make one of these. These are fun. I like it when things happen when you open a card, right? <laughs> um, and then I got this beautiful card from Cindy Ellers. I know she's watching tonight. Cindy's on my team. Love the horse stamp set. And then here's her inside. So isn't that pretty? She put some of the... Um, um, Wood texture, uh, designer series paper. Whew, I couldn't get those words out. And um, she wanted to thank me for the stamp set. She won a $150 gift certificate at our last team meeting. So yay, Cindy. She picked some great products to add to her supplies. She does classes in Nilesville and does a great job at it. Then I received... A really fun card from my friend Denise. If you guys recall, when we were down in Arizona, we stayed with Denise and her husband Russ. And here's a really cool card from Denise with some succulents. Those are so popular right now. And um, she just was sending me some, um, she wanted me to remember the Arizona sunshine. <laughs> and she enjoyed having us as their first overnight guests in their retirement home. And this, these are the pictures that she sent. While we were there, we went up to up the Superstition Mountains to Tortilla Flats, and I can't remember the name of this lake, but if Steve's on here, he'll remember because he has a much better memory than I do. So thank you, Denise, if you're watching. I loved getting these pictures. I'm going to leave those over here. And let's see. I've got one more card here to share, and this is from Debbie Fied Fiedler. And Debbie was actually sending me her VIP rewards form. She has it all filled out. And I'll tell you just a little bit about that. Um, the VIP, I have an online club is what it is. And you put in a $25 order, minimum $25 order, once a month. And when you do that six months in a row, you get a $30 credit from me to order anything that you would like. So Debbie was sending me her rewards form. She has her online club all filled out and she's going to continue for another six months. But the cool part about it is not only do you get that bonus at the end, but um, each month I send you a card uh, a quarter sheet of cardstock that has instructions written on it and a little sample of our technique. And then you also get a card made using that technique. So it's a really cool way to um, collect a whole bunch of those instruction cards so that when you sit down to stamp, you can look through them and go, oh, I think we should do a watercolor wash today because 
the cards remind you of some of the techniques that you may forget, right? Because we all forget stuff over time. Okay, I'm going to put this over here so I don't lose it. And put this up here. Okay, let me set these cards aside. Um, if you happen to be in my VIP group on Facebook, that is reserved for people who have placed orders with me. And that, that means orders in my online store. So if you've placed an order with me, you should be in my VIP group. And if you're not, I want you to contact me right away so I can get you in there. Today I shared a beautiful card using the Humming Along bundle. And we did like four or five different techniques on this card. It wasn't highly complicated. It didn't take that long, but we did a boss resist. We did mother of pearl. We did a ceramic technique. Oh, maybe only four. And embossing with embossing powder. And just a beautiful, beautiful card using that stamp set. And I pop in once a week on my VIP Facebook page and do a Facebook Live on there. And I also give away products on there too. And all people have to do is comment. So if you would like to get into my VIP group, all you need to do is go to my online store and place an order with me and you'll have access. So that's a lot of fun. I encourage everybody <laughs> to do it, right? Yeah. Hi, Christina. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, Elizabeth. So what else do I need to tell you? We have some um, prizes to give away. I want to clarify something that I said last week. So we were talking about um, not being able to order the kit using a tablet or a phone. And I think a lot of people may have gotten confused by that. You can place Stampin' Up! orders on any device. I was, I was talking about ordering our discount shopper kit which um, is a whole different ball game. Those are the things that you're not supposed to be able to do from a tablet or a phone. You need to actually go on a computer or laptop to do that. The tablet, they may have changed and maybe that works, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the phones don't work. So I just wanted to clarify what I was talking about there. And then, um, I have a funny little story. Is my husband still watching? So. He comes home this week. He had to go in and see the insurance agent. And we switched all of our insurance over to a different company because, oh my Lord, it was expensive. And so he comes home. He comes popping into my office and he says, you can continue driving. And I'm like, okay. And he said he met our new insurance agent. I think he said her name was Jessica. And she's going to Puerto Rico. I told her I was jealous and I want to go with her. I thought, well, good luck with that. And then he said she's pretty hot. I'll be spending more time on insurance. And we are fully covered. So it's like, well, how do you even respond to that? I'm like, okay. It was really funny. I was almost belly laughing at him. He's just a hoot. Um, let's see. Oh, I need to plug my phone in. Hang on. I'm going to get my phone plugged in here. We're going to give away some prizes. I have for leaving a comment. Make sure you comment. If you're watching me, you have to leave a comment so I can enter you in the drawing to win fabulous prizes. Okay, Paula or Patricia says, a tablet doesn't work either. You must be on a laptop or a computer if you're buying the discount shopper kit. And the discount shopper kit... If you're ordering a lot of Stampin' Up! product, you should, you should be a discount shopper. I mean, it's just kind of a no-brainer. So here's how it works. For $99 plus tax, you get to order $175 worth of product. $175 worth for $99 plus tax. And you get to order anything you want except celebration items. They're already giving you $75 in free. You're not getting more free stuff. So that's the way to look at it. It would be double dipping. But you get to order anything else that you want on your starter kit. You can even order the new products that aren't available to the public until March 1st. Those are on a special flyer, and in order for you to order those, you need the item code. So if you would like to become a discount shopper on my team, 
you need to pop me an email or message me and ask me for that flyer so that you can get the numbers off of it to order the stuff that isn't available to the public until March 1st. I'm happy to send that to you. So very cool, right? Once you've placed your order for your discount shopper kit, oh, and Cindy says she's been a discount shopper for six years. I know. I have discount shoppers that are on my team that have been with me for, you know, 12 to 15 years, and they love it. Once you place an order for that discount shopper kit, you get to get a 20% discount, minimum 20% discount on all your orders in the future. So it's very cool. There are some other things, and I do have a link in the right side of my blog. You can find that at www.astampabove.com. Um, if you just scroll down the right-hand column and look at, you can click on the $99 kit button. Um, I have all the details there. There are no strings attached. If you just order the kit, that's fine. If you order the kit and a couple orders of, um, and use your discount and don't order anymore, you can continue to order from me. I'm fine with that. But if you would like access to a lot more Kelly, you get me when you join my team of discount shoppers. Hi, Lisa. So first gift I'm giving away for commenting, and we got off on kind of a tangent there. Um, so, um, yeah, and, and Rhonda just said she's been a discount shopper with me since I can't remember what it said, September or something like that. And it's a lot of fun, isn't it, Rhonda? First winner for commenting on my Facebook Live last week on February 17th is Debbie Fiedler. Debbie, you are winning a Take Your Pick tool. Yay, you. Congratulations. Debbie is in Woodburn, Indiana. I will try to get all this stuff out in the mail tomorrow. I do have to go places tomorrow. Sometimes I don't get out of the house, but um, I have such a busy week this week. I have Stamp Club Monday night, Stamp Club Tuesday night. Um, let's see. Thursday I have a blog hop. Friday night I have card buffet. Saturday morning I have a card buffet. Sunday I have a team meeting. Monday I have another blog hop. Woo! <laughs> it's going to be a busy week. Heather's asking, how am I doing without my Pepsi? I'm doing okay. Hi, Bonnie Leffel. Bonnie used to be a demonstrator under me for um, as a discount shopper many years ago. And I never remove anybody from my email list unless they ask to be removed. So, Bonnie used to be a discount shopper with me years ago. She just contacted me this last week and said, Kelly... Can you send me some information? Send me the catalogs. I want to buy that discount shopper kit again. And I'm like, you bet I can, Bonnie. So glad that you're on here. All right, our next winner for sharing the video last week um, is Mary Olson from Omro, Wisconsin. You are going to get some of these beautiful floral romance seals. These are so fun to add to your cards. So congratulations, Mary. And I also found a bunch of this Grapefruit Grove um, foil sheets that I had cut up for a project. We sold out of this. It's no longer available in our celebration brochure. Um, the gold foil or the foil paper is gone and the wooden butterfly accents are gone. And um, we do have that organdy ribbon coming back in March 4th, I think but it's only gonna be available until it is gone, which is gonna be a brief time. So if you were really counting on getting that ribbon as a celebration freebie, March 4th, you want to get up really early in the morning and place an order, and I still can't guarantee anything. But anyways, I had these cut for a project, and I don't need them anymore because, well, I'm not gonna make the project. Mary, I'm gonna mail those with your floral romance seals. Woohoo! And then, for placing an order with me, we are going to be using this stinking adorable Sweetest Thing stamp set tonight for a couple cards. This thing is so, so cute. It comes with matching framelits, but I am going to give this stamp set to Robin Nicolacocos. I hope I said your name right, Robin. That is a mouthful. Robin is from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and I know she's watching tonight, so congratulations. You're going to love having the stamp set. And don't forget, there are matching framelits available that um, I'm going to show you tonight. So we're going to have a lot of fun with all that stuff. Let me put this away. 
see if there's anything else I need to tell you. I don't think so. I told you my funny story about Steve. Don't forget to push that share button. Um, I always appreciate you sharing my video. And I think we're ready to stamp. Yay! Okay, I'm going to, let's see, what are we going to make first? I've got my baskets here. I always put my stuff in these baskets to keep it separated so I'm not so discombobulated <laughs> because that's easy for me to be discombobulated. Okay, I'm going to get out some of my supplies here. What are you guys drinking tonight? Um, back to the Pepsi thing. I am doing okay without my Pepsi. I am getting my energy back. I was pretty tired there for a while because not only did I lose my sugar, because I drink real Pepsi, not like diet stuff. Um, if I'm going to do something, I'm doing it all the way. <laughs> so I did um, real Pepsi. And so I lost my sugar and my caffeine. And you guys know, if you've ever cut out your caffeine and your sugar, you know that that's like holy Moses, right? Um, but I'm doing okay. My energy level's coming back. Um, I find that I'm, you know, I get tired in the afternoons, but I was getting tired in the afternoons when I was drinking Pepsi. So Mary's drinking water. Ugh. Yeah, it's still sucking the joy out of my life. I'm not going to lie, but um, eh, it is what it is. But you got to drink lots of water. And I found out I'm supposed to drink like, I don't know, 84 ounces a day or something like that. Um, I kept track the first day and found that I drink way, way, way more water than that. Oh, Sharon's drinking sweet tea. I love sweet tea. But I drink way more than 84 ounces in a day. So I don't need to keep track of my fluid intake. I drink a lot. Um, so think, that was all Pepsi before. Like real, full strength. Caffeine, sugar, Pepsi. I would drink glass after glass after glass of it. So, I'm sure, it's not good for you, but I'll tell you guys that diet soda you're drinking is a lot worse. Just saying. So, are we ready to stamp? Debbie's not drinking anything. Hi, Debbie Peters. I miss you. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Okay. We are ready to get started. If you get motion sickness, you need to close your eyes right now because I'm going to flip my phone around and I will let you know when I'm ready for you to open your eyes so you don't get sick. And oh my, look how crooked we are. What's going on? There we go. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to bring in my little ribbon here so I don't get too far down. I shot a video last week um, and I got kind of too far down here, which is really frustrating because you don't know that's happening when it's happening. And um, boy, everybody sure does point it out. <laughs> it's like, really? Because everything else was really good in that video, but that one thing that happened for maybe two minutes out of 25 minutes, and, and it's like, holy cow. Um, yeah, cut me some slack, you guys. <laughs> Not you guys, but my. there were some YouTube watchers that um, were like, I couldn't even see what you were doing. You couldn't see what I was doing for two minutes out of 25, and I pulled the card back up here. You could clearly see what I did. So I'm just, that's, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, you guys, look at this cutie patootie thing. This, oh, you can open your eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Um... This is the Bunny Builder Punch and the best bunny stamp set. And with Easter just around the corner, well, kind of, in April, I thought we needed to make a few, a few, maybe a card with some bunnies. So I thought, what do I have that has bunnies in it? And I had this best bunny and this builder punch that are so adorable. So I pulled it out and got to work, and I have to tell you, I really had a lot of fun. I also brought in the More Than Words stamp set, and this is going to be part of the March promotion. So if you wanted to, you could get all this stuff um, this month in the month of February, um, or next Friday, this is going to be available too, and I really like this word set. These greetings all coordinate with our celebration set. So like you've got hopping by, jumping in, that's great for the... Um, frog stamp set. We've got extra sprinkles and sweets with the cupcake. 
Um, what else do we have here? Oh, I love this one. Because adulting is hard. I say that to my daughter Haley a lot. Well, not a lot, but sometimes. Adulting is hard. It is hard. So we've got a, a greeting for that. Okay, I chose Highland Heather for my card base. I'm going to get out all my little goodies. Who says I'm backwards? My word. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm going to switch that around. Okay, now we're good. I've, I've wondered why it looks so goofy. See, I'm not up above here anymore. I'm down here now, so I can't see what's going on up there. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> we don't want backwards words. So let's try that again. Best bunny. <laughs> Sorry. And more than words. Beautiful, beautiful stamp sets. I love both of these. This one's the one that's available March 1st with our celebration coordination. And that brings me to another point. Um, I've had a lot of questions about the March promotion and people are wondering if the matching framelits for some of our celebration sets and the stamp set, the stamp set, and then there's a, this is the new punch that's coming out. They're wondering if those are free items. No, these are items that you have to buy but they coordinate with our free items. So you can get the free items, you can order the stuff and get the free items with it, like the stamp sets that match. And I can't hardly wait to try um, to be working with those. I haven't done much with them yet because um, you guys can't get them and that's frustrating. I don't wanna frustrate anybody. So I really haven't done much of anything with them. Now, I've got Highland Heather and then I've got a scrap of Whisper White. I've got an inside layer of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. A piece of our Gingham Gala Designer Series paper, and this is the Highland Heather, and this is five and a quarter by one half inch. Then I've got another piece here that is three and a quarter by five and a half, and a piece of um, white that, it, oh wait, I'm sorry. The white is three and a quarter by five and a half. The gingham is two and a half by five and a half. So I think what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna stamp up the inside of this card first. Got Highland Heather ink and basic gray. You guys might notice that I don't have a host code here right now. Um, when you place an order with me in my online store, you'll want to go to my blog in the right-hand column. You're going to find kind of a symbol like this that says February host code. I had to change it today, so you can find that host code right there. When you use the code, you get some special perks from me. I'm taking the inside layer, and we're going to stamp that first. This is kind of a really cool little thing. This wishes stamp, or word I should say. I'm gonna ink that up in the Highland Heather. I'm gonna stamp it right here on my card. And then there's a second part to it. And this part is gonna just stamp on the bottom half of the word and it kind of gives it an ombre effect. And I'm doing that with the basic gray. So I'm gonna have to get my head in here, you guys, so I can see that I am doing this. I hope my hair looks okay in the back there. I want to make sure that I'm getting this lined up. I had to get up and stick my butt out, as my friend Dina says. And that gives you kind of an ombre look. Isn't that cool? I love this. And, ooh, did you hear the wind? It's rattling my windows. And then I grabbed the Easter word, and both of these are coming from that More Than Words stamp set. And I'm going to ink that up in the basic gray and stamp it right here. Isn't that pretty? Easter wishes. Okay, next we're gonna take this gingham paper. Let me put my lid over there so I don't lose it. And now I'm standing up so I have to sit down again. Uh, do you guys stand up or sit down when you stamp? I know a lot of people that stand up when they stamp. And I guess I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. I, I spend a lot of time right on my butt. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I missed something. I don't know what everybody's giving me hearts at. Maybe this, because it's pretty. <laughs> um, okay, this is our inside layer, and we're ready to put this in our card. Let me get that ink out of the way. 
wow, right? I love, love, love all of our coordinating products. They just really make everything look so well put together, don't they? Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Next, I'm gonna bring in my white scrap and we're gonna build our bunny. So I've got, I'm using basic gray for that. And I just found that, I tried it at first with black ink, but I just really found that um, basic gray was a better color for my bunny. It wasn't so stark. And Marilyn says she loves my crown. I know, right? <laughs> I love my crown too, Marilyn. Oh, I'm gonna do the body first and I'll show you why in just a second. So we've got this little bunny body. Isn't that cute? And then we've got the bunny head and the bunny head needs to go this way. Is that right? Let me look at this. I gotta look at the punch. Yep, that's right. Here comes the bunny head. And then we have the bunny arms or paws or front feet or whatever you wanna call them. I think I'm gonna put them over here. We'll see how I did. And then we've got a little bunny face. Now there's two bunny faces in here. Hang on, I gotta stand up and stick my butt out again. Let's see, ah, oh, look how cute our bunny is. Um. There's two faces in here. You've got the, this, oh, that's got like a mouth open. I didn't even see that one, you guys. But look at the little bunny teeth. Those are cute, aren't they? And then this face. So you've got three different bunny faces in here. I use the one that doesn't have an open mouth. Let's just put it that way. And then we need to punch. So let me move this out of the way. We're gonna punch out our bunny head first and you got to kind of space these away from each other I might have messed up already so we'll see I might have gotten this too close these little little arms right there nope I think I'm gonna be okay so you saw how I spaced that on here because now you have to come in and punch out all of this there we go so there's our bunny body and with the builder punch, we have to build our bunny, but I'm gonna show you a really cool um, trick to make that super easy. Yeah, and I punched my little my little paws the wrong way, or stamped the paws the wrong way. So let me try that again. Let's see if this will work better. Yep, there we go. Oh, I need to cut a little bit of this off. I had this down pat today. I'm. Punched out a whole bunch of these, figuring out what I was going to do. I didn't have this much trouble then, but you know, it's Murphy's Law, right? Oh, shoot. I didn't punch it all the way. I probably wrecked it. Yep, I think I'm done with this. <laughs> Let's try it again. Third time's a charm. Put those right here. And I'm just gonna cut this. This really isn't that hard, you guys. I just am making such a mess out of it. Put now my little foot's stuck in there. There we go. I'm gonna push it all the way. There we go. All right, now you gotta find your, keep track of your little feet. I lost one earlier today and had to restamp that too. Now with the scrap that we have, did you see me just flick all that paper? <laughs> yeah, I got it in my hand. I'm putting it in the garbage like a good person. Um, with this that's left over, we're gonna take, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna just cut a square like this. And we're gonna color our bunny. I'll show you what that's for in just a second. We are going to color our bunny. Now all I did to my bunny, because I want my bunny to be white, is I took my light flirty flamingo marker and I'm going to color that cute little nose. I hope you can see this. I know sometimes the quality of Facebook Live videos isn't that great, but I'll hold it up to the camera in a minute. I gave him some cute little cheeks and I'm just gonna come in here and color the little ears. Get the body out of there. So this is super, super easy. And then I decided that I didn't want my little bunny ears to be so all pink. So I'm gonna bring in my color lifter. These are our Stampin' Blends, and I'm gonna lift off some of that color so it's a little more pale. And see how that works? That works like a charm. I love these things. All right, now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this. 
we're going to take this little white piece and we're going to add some glue to it and we're going to glue our bunny body on there and I think I have this way too long yep I know I do so here we go we're getting glue on our scissors Blah. let me see if I can wipe that off right away yep good deal okay put that in the garbage and I'm thinking yep this is a little too wide so cut your little sliver a little more um, a little narrower I'm just gonna do this and this but this leaves you with a nice platform to glue your bunny head on and keep it with the body. Now you could tilt your bunny head a little bit if you wanted to, but I thought it looked pretty good on there straight, right? That's pretty neat. Okay, then we have these little bunny arms and I found that my take your pick tool was really helpful in Oh, it's too bright. Thank you. Let me see. I must have bumped that by accident again. I thought I turned it off. Thanks, you guys. So let me show you the bunny. Sorry about that. I was busy coloring in my own little world. There's our cute little bunny. Take your pick tool worked great to work with these little arms. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue right here and right here. And then I've got the putty end open on my take your pick tool and I'm going to bring in my little arms right here. And I've just got his little paws kind of coming into the middle like he's standing up, you know, like when they stand up on their hind legs and look at you and twitch their nose and, and um, yeah. Did, have any of you ever had rabbits? Like when I was a kid, we had rabbits. And, um, you know, you always think of rabbits as fuzzy little wonderful animals, but we had this rabbit that was really mean. And if you put your hand in her cage, she would like squeal. I know it sounds crazy. And she would attack you. I'm not even kidding about that. It was pretty intense and crazy. So we had a crazy rabbit. I think she was probably just a lunatic. Okay, we're going to set our bunny aside. <laughs> There's a little tidbit, maybe too much information. But um, yeah, when, when I was younger, we, we were pretty poor and um, we raised rabbits and my, we ate them, but my mom didn't tell us it was rabbit. Everything was chicken. <laughs> so we didn't really realize it because we had so many rabbits. They weren't really like pet pets, you know, but um, we didn't even know they were gone. <laughs> my mom would go out and get a rabbit and we'd have supper. I know that seems really kind of crazy, but that's, that's, that's life. Okay, now I got this punch, and I always forget, classic label punch. I think that's what it's called. Now, I have figured out the exact dimension for this white layer, and <laughs> Elaine says they had mean gerbils when her kids were little, right? I know, they could be little buggers. Michelle has bunnies. I knew somebody had bunnies. So the classic label punch, I figured out the exact dimension that I need for this white layer. And you're going to push this all the way in, and it's going to be directly in the middle. So that makes it easy, and it keeps it straight. And what I did here is I counted over one, two, about three, three um, lines of gingham. And that really helped me get both ends the same here. So you're going to punch once, and now you're going to move it down, and you're again going to go about three... Um, gingham denim or I keep saying denim I don't know why but gingham lines check whatever you know what I mean from the end so it's even this is gonna be perfectly straight because we were able to push that punch all the way in and just slide it down and push it up this on a smaller panel you're going to have to you know like kind of guess and pull your thing down here it's really hard to get that second one straight so I just want to let you know that okay now, um, on the first card that I made, I used a whole bunch of dimensionals, and I can tell you that it was rather tedious. So I'm like, Kelly, 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 why are you not pulling out your foam adhesive strips? You get two of these in a package. We sell these, and they're fabulous. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of see how long do I need my adhesive strips to be. I need them to be about this long, and I'm just going to cut 
some of them. And this outside edge can be used as well. It wasn't cut at the end to begin with, but now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put this on the back. Now you don't want it too close to the edge because you don't wanna see it from the front of the card, right? So keep it away from the edge a little bit. This is so much easier than a bunch of dimensionals. And these, you guys, I use these, I almost made a, shake, made a shaker card today but um, I couldn't quite pull it all together, maybe next week. But these are fabulous for shaker cards too. So if you've never um, had any of these foam adhesive strips, they're pretty sweet. I like them a lot. And now I just cut this again, because I wanted some smaller pieces. Oops, hang on, that didn't come off right. Sometimes you have to get your pokey tool out to get the backing off. I don't know why sometimes it comes off fine and s there we go because I wasn't pulling it right it's usually operator error just know that I'm gonna put this right over here and I just want this panel to have some good support so you could just use designer series paper here but you know that designer series paper is a much lighter weight paper um, so I put the white behind it to give it some more substance. Is that the word I'm looking for? Okay, now get out those nasty little pennies. They're worthless. They are good for nothing anymore, right? Remember when pennies, um, when my mom and dad were younger, pennies could buy you lots of candy, but that's not the case anymore. I still will pick up a penny when I find it on the street. I'm not going to lie. Um, because pennies bring you good luck when you find them. <laughs> Who else, who else lives by that? Okay. Um, these are mini dimensionals, and I'm going to put one right in the middle of my penny. And then you're going to set your penny right in your little window. Then you're going to bring in your second penny. And that needs to go right over top your first penny. Okay? Then, instead of putting more dimensionals on here, which would pop our bunny up even more, I didn't want to do that. I decided I would, whoops, I would use, I almost did it anyways, I would use some mini glue dots. So I'm just going to take some mini glue dots and press them down. I've got two of them here that I put on the penny. One on each side. Well, kind of. There's one here. Can you see that? One here and one here. And now I'm going to put my bunny on here. Now you don't want to see the penny, right? So you have to make sure you're covering up your bunny. Because, oops, ah, no, stop. Too soon. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you don't want to see the penny behind your bunny. So it has to kind of go under the bunny's belly. Just like that. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of stamping on here before I give you the final um, card. And I'm using the basic gray again, and I'm going to stamp right on the bottom edge. Oop, I'm going to have to stand up again. Hopping by. Isn't that cute? And then in the Best Bunny stamp set, you have these little hopping lines. So I'm going to start on either side of the word to stamp these. I'm just going to make it kind of go off the edge of the card, and then back on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, now we're ready to do this. And let's see if I can get the backing off. Do you guys like my nails? I got new nails this week. Oh my gosh, they were so, so overdue. It was horrible. Like I, every other word or every other letter I typed was wrong because that's what happens when my nails get too long. I can't type anymore. So out of desperation, I went to the nail salon. And I know that a lot of people like to get their nails done. I just like pretty nails. I hate getting my nails done. I like hate it with a passion. If you wanna know how much I really hate it, I hate it. <laughs> I'm just trying to center this on here. Yeah, I am not the person to sit and get pampered. I love massages, don't get me wrong about those. I'll go do that and feel really good about it. But for some reason, when I go to get my nails done, I just think it's the biggest waste of my life ever. But I like pretty nails, so I'm not going to lie about that. Last but not least, I really felt like I needed some ribbon. So I brought in this Whisper White 
Um, this is our polka dot tool ribbon, and this is gorgeous. You can make it any color you want with um, re-inkers. You can color on it with markers. You can do a whole bunch of stuff to this. It's a good staple to have in your stamping studio so you can make pretty things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here comes, I, I tied this in a bow on my first go, but the bow tails got in the way of my spinning mechanism. So I decided to back it off and just have it tied in a little knot here like this. So just know that if you're gonna tie a bow, it's gonna, it's gonna interfere with our spinner. Now I'm gonna push that ribbon all the way up to the top and I kind of tucked it down below. There we go, tucked it around my underneath my white layer a little bit. Isn't that pretty? That's just, it just really adds the, the thing that I needed it to do. Okay, now let's see if our bunny, let's see if our bunny will spin. We're at a weird angle. Can you guys see that? I have to hold it down here, get that ribbon out of there to make it do its thing. And after you play with it for a little while, look at it, yay! Once you play with it for a little while, just keep playing and you have to kind of lean it towards the bottom of the panel so that that um, dimensional will catch on the bottom and make your bunny spin. Yay! We have a cute little spinner card. Now this will fit in an envelope. You can mail it out. Super, super fun. Very pretty little card. And... Um, this actually has a ton of things in it. It's got a welcome little one, so you can make baby cards. It's got just a fun little saying here, but it's got a happy birthday. This is not meant to be um, an Easter stamp set, but like I said, I thought I should make something for Easter today. So I went about looking what would work for that. Now I did make a baby card too, but I'm gonna save that for next week and show you that one made with this same builder punch and stamp set. Let me get all this paper out of here that I made a mess out of. So super cute, super cute little bundle when you buy these together. I think I think these were, are, are new in the catalog. You get a 10% discount. So there's our cute little spinner card. The kids are gonna love these. Look at it go. Woo, little bunny, woohoo. <laughs> super cute, right? Okay, um, let me put some of the stuff out of the way and bring in my next project. Did you guys see my lid for my Take Your Pick tool? There it is. Okay. I'm going to put this away and this away. Now, I will be posting all the details for these projects on my blog on Tuesday. I just can't can't get it accomplished. I tried for a couple weeks to do it every um, Sunday night so that it was there for you right away and it just, it was too much. It takes um, a long time to get a blog post together because you have so many different elements and I'll just keep jabbering while I'm putting this stuff away, cleaning up my mess. But um, there are hours and hours that go into a blog post sometimes and you have to do photography and then you have to watermark all your pictures and um, it takes like an hour and a half for the video to upload to YouTube so you got that going on or I should say save from Facebook then it's only like five minutes to upload a Facebook live to YouTube but got all that going on and it's just a lot to be able to accomplish in one evening so Tuesday I will have pictures I'll post the video again that you're watching right now but I will put the dimensions for all of these on um, our Facebook, right above this Facebook video when I'm done and I post it. So don't worry about that. I will get it all, all on there. So you guys, if you want to stamp tonight, you're going to have something really fun to make. Okay, next. Super excited to be showing you guys this one. I told you I was going to be using the um, Sweetest Thing bundle. So we've got the Sweetest Thing thing stamp set and also the jar of sweets framelits and how stinking cute are those so let's see I'm gonna do this card first we are embossing and we're using the ribbon let's see oh we're not oh yeah we are using it on there 
um, the decorative ribbon border punch. I actually wrote that down on a piece of paper because I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I use it frequently. Um, I talk about it a lot in my videos every time I use it, but I can't remember what it's called. And that's just another one of my little memory issues. I seem to do okay not being able to remember jack anything. <laughs> All right. Let's get out, let's see, are we using, yep, we're using these right here. So I've got a neat technique with this card too. So first of all, I'm using the Life is Grand, um, and I'm using this on the second card. So we'll talk about that in a minute. I don't need to talk about that right now. But this is, oh, Jenny Miller says her internet is going in and out. I'm sorry, Jenny. My internet is working okay and has been all day long, so... Oh, you know what? I should. Melanie says to write the names of the punches in Sharpie on the punch. I used to put, um, I have a label maker and I used to put a label on them. And that's a really good idea because this one I can never remember what the name is either. But here's that um, Sweetest Thing bundle. We also have these cute little sweet cups that are fun for treats. And I think I have some of those. I haven't used them yet. Oh, where are they? Hang on. Yep, I think that's what this big box is right here. So let me bring this in. Ta -da -da. Yes, indeed, look at all these. You get all these little cups with lids that you can decorate. These are super fun. I do know that I have an online class coming up using this bundle. So if you've been thinking of getting a bundle that's got some really fun, cute images in it, um, this would be the one to get. You can get my online class later. If you buy all the stuff in the bundle from me, I give you the online class for free. And my online classes are $20 to $25. So that's a good value for free. Okay. I decided, let's see, I'm going to put my measurements up here in front of me so I know what I'm doing. I decided to use Granny Apple Green for my card base. And I've got four and a quarter by 11 and then I scored it. Ooh, our power almost went out. Um, did you see the lights flicker, you guys? If our power goes out, I won't have any light in here. But my phone will still work and my computer will still work because I have everything charged up. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it could be stamping in the dark. <laughs> I, do, I do have a flashlight on my um, camera. Something weird just happened over there with something turned on. I don't know. We've got strange things happening here in Wisconsin because this weather is crazy. Okay, this is some of the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. And here's my pack. I don't have it put on to my cute little um, sample sheets yet, but oh my gosh, you guys, this is just so fun and delicious. Everything is candy, candy, candy. Look at this. We're going to make a card with this, too. I think that's what I used on the, on the second card. But gummy bears and just really cute designs on the back. We've got the purple with some stripes and some gumball machines. Um, stripes, purple, let's see, gummy bears. Oh, and this candy that's super, super cute. And look at these gumball, or, or I shouldn't say gumball. Look at these candy containers. Aren't they sweet? So lots of lots of fun here. You know, I bet you these framelits fit on here, and I didn't even try that. Why, sure they do, you guys. The framelits fit on the designer series paper. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Well, note to self, I'll be doing that very soon. Um, I didn't even try that. Okay, so there's our designer series paper called How Sweet It Is. It's all part of this bundle. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way here so I can see what I'm doing. And, oh, you know what? Oh, here's some, here's some more stuff. I'm like, I need some scraps. So I've got a scrap of Whisper White. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of this designer paper and the same with the white. And then also a scrap of Gorgeous Grape. And let me get out my little tidbits here. And I've got a, um, this is three quarter by four inch piece of the designer series paper. And I wanted to let you know that this is just the back of the gummy paper. So first thing we're gonna do is stamp up the inside of our card. We'll be needing this white piece and this little piece. 
the Make Make It a Sweet Celebration. I was having a hard time reading that. Comes with the stamp set. Oh, Luba says she's got high winds in Rochester, New York, too. Yeah, it's like crazy weather weekend. I kid you not. So I'm going to stamp this right here. Oh, that turned out great. I was afraid I was going to rock that stamp because I got some ink on the edge of it. That would have been a disaster, right? And then I decided to use... Um, here's black. I wanted to use black for the happy birthday. I just wanted to use two different colors. You could choose any other color you want, but I thought the black would go just fine. Cute! Don't you love the fonts? Hang on, I gotta take a drink. I got kind of a tickle in my throat. Thank you guys so much for sharing my video. <coughs> Excuse me. Fran Smith is joining in late. Fran, don't worry about it. You can um, go back and watch from the beginning and come right to this point where you're watching now. Not a problem. Okay, I'm going to put this right down here at the bottom of my layer. And that's just going to add a little bit of color to the inside. And then I've got my granny apple green that I'm going to burnish with my bone folder. Am I making you nervous with those ink pads? They make me nervous. <laughs> Oh, Shannon Miller says it was 90 here today in Melbourne, Florida. Oh, I would love that. And I know you probably hate the 90, but I love hot weather. Like, I love hot weather. I would be in heaven with 90. I know, you guys all think I'm crazy. And I am a little crazy. <laughs> okay, then this piece is for the front. But what I wanted to show you and I didn't do yet is our designer series paper, I've shown you this before, but it's worth another shot um, to show you. It's so, so pretty that what I did with this piece is I went up and I cut it at one and a fourth inches. So I'm going to cut it right here and then we're gonna make our card. And this just is just a super, super easy way to make cards with our designer series paper. The other thing I've got here, you want to make sure your scrap of gorgeous grape is at least four inches long because we're going to use the border punch with that. And this is called the, oh my lord, I lost my note. Um, where did it go? The decorative ribbon border punch. There we go. I found my note. Don't worry. So we're going to punch this. I do recommend that you stand up and put this on your table because this is really an intricate punch and you need kind of to put your weight into it. Oh, I forgot to give you guys an update. So um, you, for those of you that are following me regularly, you know that I've been doing this weight loss thing. And um, <clears throat> as of this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, I just can't get that out of my throat. As of this morning, I am down nine pounds. <laughs> Yay me, right? Amazing. Okay, where's my silicone mat? Right here. I'm bringing in my silicone mat so that I can add some glue to the back of this layer. Mm, or the front. I really want the glue on the front. And then I'm going to bring in my polka dots here. My polka dots. Are you guys going, Kelly, it's stripes, not polka dots. Yes, my striped paper. I'm going to line this up and then we're going to cut this up so it matches at the edge. And now we can put our card front together. And I use the silicone mat because if I get any glue that's going through those holes on this um, border punch, it'll get on here instead of my work surface where, you know, it makes such a mess. Now we're ready to glue this on. The gummy bears are going to go on the top of my card. I've got something going on here with my glue. You know what that something is, right? It's a little stopped up. And now it's going to come out like gangbusters. There we go. So we're going to do our gummy bears up here. And our striped piece is going on the bottom. And this is just an easy way to use our designer series paper 
to its full potential. So I've got both sides of this particular pattern on my card. Yay! Okay, next thing we're going to do is some really cute stuff. Uh, here's my white scrap. So I've got a white scrap and a gorgeous grape scrap. We're going to stamp this big candy jar on our Whisper White layer. And we're going to grab this die and we're going to die cut it. So through the magic of TB, I already have that done. Let me put this back so I don't lose it. I never found that rectangle um, framelit that I lost. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp some gummy bears in here. And this is how I did my gummy bears. I put some gummy bears in the bottom. Then I brought some gummy bears up towards the top. And now I want gummy bears on both sides. And how am I going to do that? I thought, oh, my gummy bears are going to be all a mess. So I took some gummy bears and I stamped them, two sets of them, on a post-it note. So two post-it notes. I took my scissors and you want to make sure you got the sticky on the back. I took my scissors and cut out around here. Now you're like, oh my lord, that's horrible. But it really isn't. And you only have to do it twice because you can keep reusing these over and over and over again. So once you get it done, woo, you are on the home stretch. So now you're going to mask your gummy bears. And I'm going to have this little masking thing for, you know, for as long as I have this stamp set. Because I wanted more gummy bears over here. And I wanted more gummy bears over here. And now, are you saying to me, Kelly, what about the center? Don't worry. We're going to cover that up so it's not going to matter. That's why I can do just the bears around the outsides. Get this off of here. I'm going to put this back inside my case. There we go, so I can use it again. And then we need to do a tiny bit of coloring. And these are really easy to color. I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much coloring. But I've got my stamping blends. I'm using the um, Dark Lovely Lipstick. And then I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green in the dark. And Highland Heather Dark and Pineapple Punch Dark. You're just going to go around and color in random gummy bears, just like that. Easy peasy. And we want to give it a really good rainbow of colors here to match our paper, which is just like color overload. I love it. I love bright, cheerful colors. They make me happy. Oh, I heard somebody on a video tell me... Well, she wasn't talking specifically to me, but I heard her loud and clear. If you are pushing hard enough to make your markers squeak, you are pushing too hard. I didn't know that. So you should use a lighter touch on your on your stamp and blends. I didn't know that. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. I just I like the squeak, but I guess yeah, it makes sense, right? So don't make them squeak. Lighten your touch on them so they're not squeaking. Look at how pretty that pineapple punch is. I'll hold this up in just a second. Like right now is my second. Isn't that cute, you guys? Okay, here is our scrap of Whisper White. The other thing that I need to do is stamp this cute little label that says treats on it. So we're gonna do that. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty? That's gorgeous grape ink. And where did my frame? Let's go right here. There's a framelit to cut that out. So right here, through the big shot, boom, just like magic, I have it right here. Yay! I don't want you guys to wait for me to do stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna take our mini dimensionals and we're gonna add a couple of them to the back of this label. You guys are gonna love this card, it's super, super sweet. And I could see, like cutting out a bunch of these and stamping them and sitting in front of the TV and coloring them to make like a whole assortment of these little cards. And then we're going to get some big dimensionals and put those on here. 
Thanks, Dion. Pam, I bet you it's Pam that's on here watching tonight, not Dion. But thank you. It is a great masking idea, right? Okay, we're ready to add our gummy bear jar to the front of our card. And we're going to put that right down here. Okay, what else are we going to do here? Well, we have one more thing to do. I wanted a pretty label. I needed something that was very bold to go up here. I didn't want to use a white label because I thought it would get drowned out in all the gummy bear action. <laughs> gummy bear action, yeah. So I've got my um, Versamark ink pad here and I am going to stamp this pretty label in Versamark ink. And after I did that, I thought, how pretty is that? You know, Versamark ink gives you a watermark, so it just stamps darker than whatever color cardstock you're working with. I wouldn't even have to do anything else to this if I didn't want to. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. But I did decide that I wanted to white emboss this piece. And let's see, here's my embossing powder. So quickly, just pour that on here, tap it off. We're going to add it back in here. And ta -ta -ta. put this away. Then hit this with a heat tool. And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that because I don't want you guys waiting for that and it's loud. <laughs> I am so good to you. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Sharon says she loves Versamark ink for stamping. And you know, I don't use it as much as I used to, but I also love it. Oh, ooh, shoo, glad I didn't stick that down yet. So this is another coordinating product with the, um, the Sweet Sweet. This is our Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green reversible ribbon. So on one side it's Coastal Cabana and on the other side it's Granny Apple Green. And I decided that I wanted a little like banner thing hanging out from under my greeting layer, my sentiment, the sweet sentiment. Get a hold of this. I knew that wouldn't cut all the way, darn it. There we go. Okay, so what I decided to do was put this right behind this. <gasps> Isn't that cute? I almost forgot. I'm so glad I didn't forget that. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape and tape that down here. I want to make sure that's still... Oh, nope. Hang on. I got it kind of mess, messed up. It's not where I wanted it. Let's try that again. So I'm doing it like this because I want to see both the green on the front. That's what I'm looking for is the green. I'll try this again. I'm going to get it spaced out just right here. Okay, that looks good. Yep, that's what I was looking for. And here goes our little label right on the front. <gasps> what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I hope my lighting's okay. Yay! So super cute, right? So again, this was one piece of paper. I cut it at one and a quarter inches, flipped this one over, and used it as a coordinating color for the front. All right, now let me close these up because I've got another super cute card to show you. And here, I gotta put this over here. We are using the same stamp set. You're going to love this. This time we're going to use Pineapple Punch for our card base. And this is a color that I have not used a lot. It's one of our new in colors. And it's just super, super bright. And I wasn't sure that I really had a lot of uses for it. So this is the first time really that I pulled it out for the most part. But I have to say that I think it's growing on me. <laughs> I think I like it. What's on back order? The ribbon? This ribbon is on back order? Um, if it is on back order, I'm pretty sure the number is still on. So you can order it. They'll just send it separately when it comes into the warehouse. 
Betty. Betty says, crud, now I have to have this one too. You're killing me, Kelly. You're welcome, Betty. <laughs> I know. I hate it when that happens too, right? Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Bone folder so we can get a good crease on that card. This is um, pineapple punch. Five and a half by eight and a half. And I just folded it in half. Now... I want to show you what I did here with this one. I'm going to bring my paper cutter in again. I've got a piece of this super, super fun candy and cupcakes. This is four by five and a quarter. This one I'm going to cut a little different. I'm going to cut it at three and three quarters. So this one I made a different size. The bottom part is going to be a little bit bigger. This is what we're going to do. Isn't that cute, right? But there's a whole bunch of more cute coming on the front of this card. So, Kathy Sanford says, I'm totally going to case this card. You case away. That's why I share this stuff with you guys. All right. I needed a scrap of pineapple punch. This is four inches wide. And again, I'm going to bring in that ribbon border punch. Decorative Ribbon Border Punch. See, I have so much trouble trying to remember the name of that. Okay. And one more here. Make sure I got it all the way in. Oh, I goofed it up. Do you see that? I messed it up. So we're going to try that again. There we go. It's hard to see without sticking my head in the camera what I'm doing here. So now I'm making excuses. <laughs> there we go. Okay, not too bad, right? All right, let me get this out of the way. I'll throw this away. Got lots of little bits tonight. Steve needs to vacuum my office again. Is he still watching? I think I heard him go upstairs to bed already, so I don't think he's watching. Okay, we're going to do something just a little bit different with this. We're going to take this piece, and we're going to stamp our greeting right on it. And I think I'm going to use Memento Black Ink this time. And Sweets for You. We're going to put that right here in the middle. What do you think? You can stamp right on designer series paper when it's a really mellow pattern. I love doing that. I learned that the first time, and I don't know why I never thought of it, but it just never dawned on me to do it. From my upline, Ann Hebner, she used to stamp on designer series paper and still does, I mean, quite a bit. And I'm like, oh, I always forget to do that. Don't forget to stamp on designer series paper. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna add this piece right down here. And then instead of tucking that border, oops, I got this crooked, you guys. Just hang tight. Let me see if I can pull this off a little bit. Come on, don't do that to me. There we go. I'm gonna move this up just a little smidge. It was just a little bit crooked. There we go. And then we're gonna take this and put it right across the front. So I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat again. This time I am putting glue on the wrong side of this. See how I don't have to be careful when I use a silicone mat and there's a little bit of glue here? This will dry and it'll rub right off. And then I'm gonna put this right here. Just like that. Okay, don't go any place. I have more fun coming. Okay. Yeah, Lisa, um, I have a label maker to write the names of the punches on my on my um, punches, but I get lazy. I, maybe I need to have somebody come over and do that for me so that I'm not so lazy. Okay, next thing we're going to do is decorate. I'm going to do the words on the inside quick here. And this is where I brought in that big from the life is grand I love the fonts in here like they I love big greetings and these are so fun I mounted this and I know somebody's gonna ask me what these cases are um, it happens every time I use them these are old wood cases they had a lid that closed and I cut the lid off I put just a piece of cardstock in the bottom of them so I can just put my stamps in there and we don't sell these anymore so 
but they used to come, that's what our wood stamps came in, is those kind of cases with a lid. So sorry, but you can, you can go to a store and find some little trays that'll do the same thing. Let's make sure this is all inked up, and I'm going to stamp this. This is in gorgeous grape. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Look how beautiful that is. I love this okay and then I have a little strip of our paper right here I'm gonna take this little strip and I'm gonna put glue on this side this time we're gonna put this right down here just to doll it up a little bit all right we can put this in our card and then we're gonna finish the front of it with some really cute it's gonna be like cuteness overload when you see what I did. Okay, there's our inside. Oh, I have a little bit of ink on my finger. And I'm gonna get that off of there before we have a disaster. Now, I've got a scrap of the designer series paper with all the stripes on it. And what I'm gonna do is, la la la, take a drink everybody. We have to stay hydrated. Stamping is rough work here. I'm going to take my embossing buddy and rub it on my um, designer series paper. And then there's these cute little candy images, you guys. So I'm going to take this candy image and I'm going to do it on a diagonal across here. And I want three of them. And then I am going to get out my white embossing powder again. Ugh. At least it wasn't the embossing powder. Have you guys ever dropped this stuff? It's really fun. <laughs> Have you ever um, like hit it with your heat gun when you left it open because you thought you were being brilliant by leaving it sit on your table? Yeah, I've done that too. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> with powder blue everywhere. It is very fine. Um, one thing I want to tell you about our embossing powder You'll find that Stampin' Up's embossing powder is a finer grade and gives you a much higher quality embossed image than stuff you buy in your big box stores. Theirs is more grainy and it's more like leaves holes in it when you stamp it on something. Something we learned a long time ago, didn't we, Cindy Ellers? So Cindy is my downline. Um, she's on my team. And she knows full well that was a question that we dealt with way back at the start of her stamping career was um, about embossing powder and how good our embossing powder is and how crummy other embossing powder is. And do you know, for the life of me, I already have these all die cut and I thought I had them in here and they're not there. So, here we go. I cut these out and die cut them are ready for you so you wouldn't have to sit here and listen to this nonsense and I can't find them so we're gonna have to do it old school and without the magic of TV you're gonna love the way these little candies look embossed on the striped paper it's adorable keep sakes you know and I probably dropped them on the floor see them though any place. Anywho, we just got to keep moving on. We need to die cut these. Sorry guys, I did plan ahead, but obviously that didn't work out too good. Here comes my big shot. We're going to do some big shot therapy tonight. I'm going to use this little candy. Now there's some other little candies in these framelits that have like, they... <clears throat> Give you embossed images, which is pretty cool. Let me grab, oh, hang on. Let me grab a piece of, I'm gonna grab a scrap of this and run one of these through to see what this looks like because I haven't used these yet. We'll see. All right, I have to die cut these, sorry. I think you guys, I think you guys will be okay. I'm pretty good to you most of the time, right? <laughs> Oh, Debbie asked, does the heat gun ruin the piercing mat? No, I've never had any problem with it, Debbie. Um, I haven't had it melt at all. Nothing, it doesn't feel funny. It seems to be okay. 
I'm pretty nonchalant with my products. Um, look at that. Isn't that cute? Can you guys see the texture on there? That is adorable. We might use that too. Okay, let me put this back so I don't lose it. And here is one of our little candies. Isn't it sweet? Yeah. I even put dimensionals on the back of these little buggers so I wouldn't have to waste time doing that in front of the camera. So I'm really sorry, you guys. But don't forget to click that share button if you came in late. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Okay. Is my, are my messages? Yep. I, for some reason, my computer is staying scrolled with the current messages tonight. So that hasn't happened in a long time. There's the next one. Isn't that sweet? And then we've got one more here. I'll get this out of the way. And... Get this on here. The little bugger. There we go. Okay, I wonder when I'll find those little candy things. Huh. Doesn't matter now, does it? Well, I can use them on another card. We'll be okay. All right, I'm going to put this back. And here's the last little candy. Isn't that cute? It looks like kind of like taffy, doesn't it? I love taffy. Can't have that either. <laughs> Yeah, I know one of these times when I do eat taffy, I'm going to rip my teeth out. That's the price we pay for the love of taffy. Okay, mini glue, or I'm sorry, mini dimensionals are perfect for the back of these little things. And I already had those on. Oh, well. Thank you, Karen. Karen says she loves how the candies came out. Um, and I do, too. They're just the white embossing on them is just super, super adorable. Now, I have to tell you another little thing about this designer series paper is that on this cupcake page, there's these candies on here. The framelit doesn't fit on there, but you could also cut these out and put them on your cards too. So if I were to order this bundle, I would get um, at least two packs of paper to match it because you're gonna wanna have that extra designer series paper. I think I ordered three with mine, but I, I wanna use it for stamp clubs and stuff like that too, so okay. Here comes our little candies. I'm just gonna plop one right there. I'm gonna put one right here, and the other one, just kinda like that. So it looks like they kinda fell, just like that. Let's see this purple one that I got made. Can I put that in there? Probably could, but I'm not gonna. So there's our second super cute card using this bundle. Here was the first one we made. Aren't they just precious? I love them. And then we've got our bunny rabbit spinner card. Let's see if I can get him to spin. There he goes. Come on, little bunny. Woo! Oh, gotta move this out of the way. There we go. Make sure your ribbon isn't in the way. Look at that bunny go. Yay! Very, very cool cards. All right, you guys. This is what I have to share with you tonight. Um, next week, I will have another card using this Bunny Builder Punch with a whole different idea. I'm excited to share that with you. And if you would like to place an order, you're going to find my online orders button right on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business. This is my full-time job, and I love sharing with you. So I appreciate the time that you took out of your Sunday evening to watch with me. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Did I miss any questions, you guys? I always like to ask that because it's hard to stamp and die cut and heat emboss. And look at messages. It just is. I love that bunny. Don't you love the bunny? So please let me know if I missed any of your comments or questions. I know I missed some comments, but I'll, I always go back through and look and see if anybody asked any questions that I missed because I sure do apologize for that. But yeah, it's kind of like that thing where what do you do? You're chewing gum and you're walking and you're 
tapping your head and rubbing your belly. Yeah, I can't do all that. <laughs> That's what I feel like when I'm doing a Facebook Live. Like I have to do all those things all at once. Um, I will be back on March 3rd, Sunday night at 7 p.m. with some fantastic ideas for you. That's when our March promotion goes live where we will have, let me grab those. I will grab the freelets that are going to be our March promotion. We've got that one. Um, let's see, where's the rest? I got Lasting Lily, the frogs. I have the Lasting Lily Framelits. These have two really nice labels in them to go with the greetings in there. The frog has lily pads and flowers, so that's really cool. And then there's one more with the cupcake set. And here it is. I'm excited. I'm so excited about this little dome thing because I have so many ideas running through my head. You got a little platter and a little dome for your cupcake. How stinking cute is that? Then you got a cupcake pick and some little, yeah, candles. Can you tell that this is going to, this, this, this makes me happy. All of these make me happy. We've never done this before with Celebration where we have coordinating products to go with it. So um, once again, if you joined me late, there's been a lot of questions about whether these coordinating items that go with the celebration sets are going to be free. No, they're not free. You have to pay for them. You're going to buy these items and then you can get their free celebration stuff. So we've got the Painted Seasons that comes with um, a stamp set and a pack of paper with your $100 order. We've got the Lilies Lasting Lily stamp set, which is free with your $100 order. And I think there's like 16 stamps in that stamp set. The So Happy Together, which is the cute little frogs, that's free with a $50 order. And then you can buy this. And then the Hello Cupcake, which is also free with a $50 order. Here's the Painted Seasons. Let me see if I can find these quick. Here's the Hello Cupcake. Here's the So Happy Together, the frog set that's just so stinking adorable, and the Lasting Lily. So check those out, you guys. Yeah, there's 16 stamps in here, so a very awesome set. Yeah, check, check that out. I'm so excited about this. I might even start stamping with it tonight. Well, I gotta work on my stamp club stuff. Well, maybe. We'll see. All right, you guys. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday evening with me. I wish you guys a wonderful week. Make sure you check back with me. Um, I think I'll be posting a free download on my blog tomorrow for a really awesome project. So there's a downloadable project sheet that you can print or save to your computer. It's got all the dimensions, directions, products used, and pictures for um, a specific card. And then on... Tuesday, I'll post all the details about these, but I'll get the measurements up right now on the Facebook page above the video. <clears throat> Tuesday, these will be on my blog with more pictures. Cause So if you had a crummy connection, go visit my blog Tuesday morning. These will be up, and you can see better photos of these than what you might be getting in the video. And then Wednesday, I'll have my tip video. If you guys have any tips to share with me, private message me. I'm always looking for ideas to share on my Wednesday, wait, what? Tip video. Um, I'll have that out on Wednesday. Thursday is the Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop. If you guys um, haven't heard, Paper Pumpkin is turning six years old. And with the next kit that you have to sign up, you have to subscribe before March 10th, there'll be two stamp sets in it as a special birthday celebration. So, um, you can find the Paper Pumpkin link in the right-hand column on my blog also. Go there and subscribe. Try it out. It's really a lot of fun. Each month, I provide around 15 alternate ideas for you to use with that month's Paper Pumpkin kit. So if you get the kit and the cards are like not to your liking or you know not your taste or whatever, I'm going to provide you with around 15 more ideas to make with that kit. So... You're gonna, you're gonna love, you're gonna love being a paper pumpkin subscriber with me. 
And then Friday, Friday is going to just be my feature Friday. I'll have a video for you on Friday. And uh, yeah, next Monday I have another blog hop. So I'll see you back here on Sunday, um, March 3rd, and we'll have a great time. Let's see, last year the Paper Pumpkin 5-year anniversary sold out before March 10th. Mercy, that's a really good point. So make sure that if you think you'd like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you do it right away. <laughs> Suzette says, how do you keep track of all the blog hops, classes, lives, everything you do? Well, let me show you. So, this is my handy dandy little life folder. And this is my schedule. So this is my schedule for the month of February. This is my schedule for the month of March. So I have to keep track of all this stuff because people are counting on me to have my blog ready to roll for these hops. That's how I keep track. I just write it down. Yeah. And I have a lot of fun making all this stuff. Okay. I'm signing off now. You guys have a good week. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.